Now to the concern that brings us all here today. Small businesses from the construction to the financial services industry are daily facing enormous challenges. They continue to suffer from what many say is one of the most, most the worst recessions this country has ever experienced. So it is imperative that our government plays a critical role in assisting our nation's small businesses, which will create jobs and especially for the unemployed and working poor in, commu in urban communities and communities across our country. As we all know, President Bush failed to implement the SBA's Women's Procurement Program, but the administration was quick in its demand for $700 billion to bail out the so-called financial giants of Wall Street. So I urge my colleagues to move with swiftness to help small businesses that will stimulate and sustain our communities and by extension our economy. It is my hope that the second economic stimulus packages adequately addresses our nation's small businesses and addresses, establishes, and reinforces objectives that ensure minority and women-owned businesses will fully participate in contracting opportunities created by the Infrastructure Improvement Plan and Economic Recovery Plan. My first question is to, <clears throat> excuse me, Mr. Um, Robert Therian and to Mr. Steve Massey. It is also almost definitive that the second e economic stimulus package, Congress will target infrastructure improvement projects. It appears that this will be extremely favorable towards the construction industry, which is suffering from this economic downturn. Balancing the need for small business productivity, Hiring and retention of dedicated workforce is truly a challenge. We're, we're trying essentially to develop a win-win-win economic policy that is critical to the future prosperity of our civil society. Do you support pre-apprenticeship programs in your sector to benefit disadvantaged workers, especially if these programs are targeted towards green jobs? And do you know of any successful pre-apprenticeship programs that benefit disadvantaged workers that can be used as a model? And please explain the difference between a pre-apprenticeship program and apprenticeship program. And just so you know, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, so that's why I come from this perspective. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah. I know that uh, I'm, not, I'm not very astute with the pre-apprenticeship or apprenticeship programs per se um, that come through the organized labor. I'm an open shop contractor. Um, and I know we do have our own training protocols and procedures. I will quite frankly tell you that uh, up until recent times, we would take anybody that will walk through the door, had a pulse and could pass a drug test, and just about put them to work. And so that, that's where we were in New Hampshire and Vermont, where I operate out of, had very low unemployment rates and still enjoy relatively low unemployment rates, fortunately. Um, but we sit there and, you know, we work hard to train our people and retain our people. Um, one of the biggest things we work on is not just system installations in, in the products that we install. One of the first things we do is spend the first day with them working solely on safety. Because um, one of the things that we do run into in our industry especially is is when we do have an accident, and it's a fall especially, it's a significant issue. And uh, the result is not a good product. So safety is of paramount importance to our industry. We work hard to train in that, and then we work on training with the systems at hand. And so while I don't understand those <coughs> programs exactly, um, training is very important. One of the things that our association has done is actually started to put training programs online. Roofing 101, a basic roofing program of just getting people to understand roofing, is actually online now so that our workers can do this at their own time. We bring them in on rain days and the like when it's snowing out and gives us the opportunity to help train our guys. We've got uh, REIS programs, which are energy efficiency programs. There's a section on vegetative roofs, on solar roofs, and the like that you can take online through the association to better understand what, what it is that uh, is demanded of you in our industry. Thank you. Um, 